This is a function report that Social Security will probably have you fill out as part of your disability application. It will ask you about activities you are able to do and what you are not able to do. The important thing to remember when filling out this function report is when it asks if you have a problem doing something, what they are asking is whether you would have a problem doing it for eight hours a day, five days a week, totaling 40 hours a week. If you would have a problem sitting for a total of 40 hours a week, then you should indicate that you have that problem by stating it using details. You should be very specific about the words you use. You should try not to use a lot or a little. If it asks you about how long you could do something, you should say 15 minutes or an hour and try not to say a short while. The language you use could mean different things to different people. The importance of the function report. The function report will help you express your limitations and describe how your disability impacts your daily life. This is your opportunity to explain to Social Security how your life is affected by your limitations. You may want to print out the function report and complete it while watching the next portion of this recording. Now we will start on page one of the function report. The first questions ask about contact information, where you live and with whom you do you live. The most important thing to remember in section A is to make sure you answer every question with the proper and complete information. For question number five, remember that the form is asking you if you have medical limitations that would stop you from working full time. Be specific about your symptoms that you are experiencing. You can opt to skip this question now, but be sure to come back to it and finish it before you submit your application. Page two of the function report. The next question, number six, asks you to describe what you do from the time you wake up until going to bed. There probably is not enough room to answer this question on this page. There is a page at the end where you can add more information. For this question, list things by the hour. What are you doing at 7 a.m.? How about 8 a.m.? How about 9 a.m.? This is what you would be doing on a typical day, not necessarily your best day. The next several questions ask you if you can help take care of anyone or do you care for pets? If yes, what do you do? Does anyone help you with any of these tasks? How do they help you? Question 10 asks, what were you able to do before your illnesses that you can't do now? You need to be specific for this one. Think of something you used to do that you don't do now or do on a really limited basis. Question 11 asks, do the illnesses affect your sleep? If yes, how? You should indicate if you have trouble falling asleep, staying asleep, or if you wake up early and have trouble going back to sleep. How many days a week do you have trouble sleeping? For number 12, personal care, list any tasks you get help with or if you cannot do certain things anymore. Social Security is asking about your typical day, not your best day. Dress, have you modified what you wear or need someone to help you? Have you avoided using buttons because you have a hard time buttoning? Bathe, are you taking showers instead of baths now or vice versa? Do you avoid showering because it has become too hard? Hair, do you keep it short because it's hard to brush? Did you have to change your hairstyle so you could better care for it? Shaving, write down any habits that are new or you have modified. Feed self, this is not about cooking meals. This is about getting food into your mouth. Is it difficult to chew or swallow or to get food up to the mouth so that you can eat? Toilet, have you added assistive devices or do you need anything help going to the bathroom? Are there any other aspects of personal care that may be different now? Page three of the function report. Do you need any special reminders to dress, wash your hair, or take your medications? If yes, what type of help or reminders are needed? 
Do you forget to do any of these things? Question 13 asks about your ability to create meals for yourself. 13A asks, do you prepare your own meals? This would include creating meals like pouring cereal or making a sandwich. You would indicate if you do it every day, a few times a week, or a few times a month. Use words like minutes and hours under how long does it take you? Number 14 asks about your ability to do house and yard work. The ability to do chores does not mean you are not disabled. Ask yourself about your typical day. What chores did you do? And did you need help? You should wor use words like minutes and hours and identify any problems you had and any breaks you took. The more detailed, the better. Page four of the function report. Number 15, how often do you go outside? Explain exactly which symptom is affecting your ability to go outside. If you can't go outside, state the illness that is preventing you from doing so. When going out, how do you travel? Check one of the boxes. If you can't drive under 15D, explain why you can't drive. If you had a license, would you be able to drive? Is it too hard for you to take the test? Do you have trouble steering? It is important to elaborate. 16A, if you do any shopping, do you shop in stores, by phone, by mail, by computer? 16B, describe what you shop for and see how often do you shop and how long does it take? Number 17, money, asking, if you were able to pay bills, count change, handle a savings account, use a checkbook or money order, and you need to explain all no answers. This question can be confusing. If you have enough money, could you do these things? These questions help Social Security determine if you need a representative payee who would receive the money for you and handle your financial affairs. Page five of the function report, 17B. Has your ability to handle money changed since the illness began? Explain how the ability to handle money has changed. Your ability to handle money may be different now. Do you have new problems being able to handle and keep track of your bills? If you had enough to pay all of your bills, would you be able to manage the deadlines, write out checks, pay bills online, Balance your checkbook, add and deduct dollar amounts. Were you able to do any of these tasks before your disability and you cannot do them now? Number 18, hobbies and interests. Try to list something. Social Security is not supposed to hold it against you if you have any hobbies. Explain the symptoms and diagnoses that make these things harder. Explain any hobbies you can no longer do and why. How often and how well do you do these things? How many times a week, a month, or a day do you do them and for how long? If you used to be able to read for an hour at a time and now you can only read for a half an hour. If there are any changes in how you can or cannot enjoy your hobbies because of your disability, be sure to list them here. Number 19, social activities. A, how do you spend time with others? Check the appropriate boxes that apply to you. Do you spend time with others in person? Talk to anyone on the phone, on the computer, or do you text other people? Most people have some interactions with other people and it's okay to say yes. B, describe the kinds of things you do with others. How do you interact with other people and what kinds of things do you do when interacting with them? How often do you do these things? You use details about the length of time you do these things. C, list the places you go on a regular basis. You can include things like doctor's appointments or the grocery store. If you have a caseworker who takes you, write that down. Do you need to be reminded to go places? These reminders can include a person reminding you 
you or someone else writing you reminders or reminders on your phone. Be specific what types of reminders you need and for what activities you need reminded of. How often do you go and how much do you take part? Are there activities you attend that you cannot participate in? An example would include at church when everyone else is standing and you have to sit or at a social gathering where you have to separate yourself from the group for a breather. Describe what diagnoses prevent you from participating and be specific. Do you need someone to accompany you? If you need someone to accompany you, describe why and what that person helps you with. If you only need someone sometimes, you can still list that here. Page six of the function report. D, do you have any problems getting along with family, friends, neighbors, or others? You should answer yes if you have had problems or if you don't have problems because you avoid interacting with others. You should imagine a situation where you would interact with others and if you would have problems get along with family, friends, or neighbors and describe what problems you would have. E, describe any changes in social activity since the illness, injuries, or conditions began. If you had made any changes, and your social activities, you should describe what diagnoses and changes there are or if you have altered your social activities. 20A, check any of the following items that your illness, injury, or conditions affect. Check all that apply and use the space below to explain how your illness affects the items you checked. If you would have pain while performing any of these tasks, you need to describe that here. If you would have trouble concentrating, describe that and how you would feel, lose focus. If any medications would affect you, you need to describe that here as well. B, check whether you are right-handed or left-handed. C, how far can you walk before needing to stop and rest? Try to use a distance. Use feet, yards, miles, or blocks. If you're really not sure, Try to think about how many minutes you can walk. If you have to rest, how long before you can resume walking? You need to use words like minutes and hours and a specific number. D, for how long can you pay attention? Again, you need to use specific words like minutes and hours and be very specific. E, check the appropriate box to indicate if you finish what you start. For example, a conversation, chores, reading, watching a movie. F, how well do you follow written instructions? If you have trouble following written instructions, give details why you cannot follow written instructions. If you cannot follow a recipe, describe why you cannot. And if you can follow a recipe, you, but you have problems following other written instructions, describe that here. If you have no problems following written instructions, you can say that too. G, how well do you follow spoken instructions? If you are able to follow spoken instructions, you can say that here. If you are unable to and can give an example, you should describe that. Page seven of the function report. How well do you get along with authority figures? For example, the police, bosses, landlords, or teachers. You should ask yourself, if you no longer interact with those people because you avoid them, how would you interact with them? If you have had problems interacting with authority figures in the past, you should identify those problems here. If you avoid talking to neighbors now, you should explain that. Have you ever been fired or laid off from a job because of problems getting along with other people? It's okay to say yes. Disability is asking you if you have medical conditions that affect your ability to work. Having trouble getting along with others is often a symptom of mental health diagnosis or a side effect from pain from a physical condition. There is nothing to be ashamed of. And if the answer is yes, you should write down an explanation. Describe any conflicts you may have had and who the conflict was with, like your boss, a coworker, or a customer and then you should list the name of the employer. How well do you handle stress? 
Try not to say well or not well. Give an example of a stressful situation you experienced and describe how you dealt with it. If you get stressed out going to the grocery store, describe what symptoms you experience and how you manage the stress. Remember, you need to ask yourself if you would be able to handle stress of a 40 hour a week job while performing the required duties. If you, if you would not be able to handle that stress of a full-time job, you need to explain why and what diagnoses or symptoms would prevent you from doing so. How well do you handle changes in routine? Give an example of when you had a change in your daily routine and how that affected you. If you experienced problems in past jobs when there was a change in routine, describe that here. Have you noticed any unusual behavior or fears? Have you noticed that people tell you that you are worried about nothing when you have expressed a fear? Or do you fear that coworkers are talking or plotting against you? Do you think that you have fears that other people don't seem to have? If so, list them here. Do you use any of the following assistive devices? Check any that apply. Which of these were prescribed by a doctor? If your doctor prescribed any of these assistive devices, write that down here and when the doctor prescribed it. When do you need to use these aids? If you only use a cane or walker when you go to the store, write that down. If you use a wheelchair at home and when you go out, describe that. Explain which devices you use and when you use them. List what diagnoses have made it necessary to use each device. Page eight of the function report. 22, do you currently take any medications for your illnesses? This means exactly what it says, any medications. Make sure that you check yes if you take any medicines. If yes, do any of your medications cause side effects? Answer yes or no. If the medications do have side effects, you are to list all of the medications that you take that cause side effects. In section E remarks, you are to use this section to add any information that you were not able to show in the previous parts of the form. When you are done with this section, don't forget to complete the bottom of the page. That is the end of the function report.